is my first time LCS to be zero, right? So it's feeling like so funny. I think that just means we had a lot of things we we're doing right in both teams. Congratulations, but it's it's brain damaging for a coach that to win games you should lose and lose games you should win. Yes, Toby. Can you talk about your thought? Tell, tell me how you feel right now. Tell me how you feel right now. Right now, I feel relief. choices and good luck to both teams as we're about to jump into 100 thieves versus optic and we're here to see if the thieves can get past the eyes of optic so heading into last week i've seen a lot of good things like don't get me wrong we had insane early games for both teams we threw both of them pretty hard um and we are very bitter about it the two games of last week we should have won them Cloud 9 and tsm actually were in range of winning so i'm kind of i kind of puzzle about that to be honest. Medios going up against 100 Thieves for the first time in that revenge game. What will he get to play in the jungle? I actually don't feel like that much toward 100 Thieves. Mostly because like the roster is pretty different than when I was there. It's like the only same players are Afro Moon Sunday, who like I'm still cool with. So there's not really like any animosity for me toward like the players or anything like that. So for me, it just feels like another game. Will it happen, the individual performances to come out or will we see kind of a new leaf turned over for both teams? Last week, I was very down the whole week. It was hard personally, because uh, the more you lose, the, the higher the challenge is to make people adapt faster, where they actually slower to adapt. The game of Saturday, we should have lost it. It's just thieves didn't, didn't play well at all. If Optic takes this game, they will be tied with 100 thieves. Optic on a five game losing streak 100 thieves 02 who wants it more we're on the rift 100 thieves versus up no reckless swing out under toe attack medios is just gonna be off the side just bring comes down but they instantly take down dolpla i thought he had a bit of time to get out he's gonna be able to deny vision he's got the stopwatch down crown now in the frying pan cooked up and there's the ultimate across the map from bang the hills with the help of Big as he has spitting his teammates out left and right. Is it enough? Big throw it in. Great health comes down, but it's not gonna be oh, enough. It's almost it's the next, the true shot or miss. Oh, oh, this is Bang, but he knows the shutdown. Medios is in. You better be paranoid, baby. He's gotta hold your breath. Oh, he's gonna try to. Oh, bop, 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 bop. oh he says, Who is he? He goes ahead, throws down. Tomb. Will he be in that tomb for very long though? Nobody's coming to help him. Oh wow, yeah, they just leave who he out to dry on that Bang's one. Bang's dead too! Death Bang gets himself in a real bad spot. Over the wall, does he have flash still? Round warp on the bang, he goes down. And 100 thieves just slip up big time as Optic takes control. And he'll back very quickly. Oh, and oh, oh, wait, that's the Tom Kent. No, Bishop Boy is down. in. They also, they also have a stop. Zipper. Dope's got to stop him. It's this he time the back him. game. Dope's doing what he can. A nice cross ring coming in from who he to try and stop him. Nexus is getting hit up. Optic can see the win, and Optic take down 100 Thieves! I was happy we won, but obviously, like, still a lot more we can work on. I don't really feel like I played that great that game either. I was just kind of, like, standing there next to the light switch, like, okay, guys, I'm turning off the lights now. And, uh... Everyone else played really well. How do we feel, Terry? I was waiting for the pop-off. Oh, the pop-off was a slow go. Taking off the head tip, knowing that one. <laughs> That's the pop-off. The one call you say is crazy. Actually, you always have one crazy call. Feels good. Feels bad because we played like dog shit. Feels good because we won. Last week it was... Feels good because we played amazing and feels bad because we tripped. So it's it's always bittersweet because sports is an industry where everything is result based. 
So when you win, you fall good, even though you didn't play good. So today we didn't really play well, at least not the beginning of the game. But yeah, that's sports. If you win, you have to be happy, I guess. It was an up and down roller coaster kind of thing. Some success, some failures, some hard times, some good times. Okay. We won. Congratulations, guys. Did we play amazing? Yeah. Well, you actually played amazing. After, 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 <laughs> after, <laughs> after the first fight, like after the front-to-back fight with Sevilla, you played absolutely amazing. We can do better in early game for sure. You guys looked extremely nervous going into this game, which I understand the stake, the stake was very high. Okay, so I understand that there was a lot of small individual misplays. If I have to compare this with last week, it's a significant improvement. And the only reason we won this game is because we went for calculated plays instead of frantic mess, right? So for me, it's the biggest takeaway of today is you can always, always, especially in NA, you can always win a game, even if it's lost on the paper, just if you have a plan and enemy doesn't. Congratulations for this. I think that everybody has to review the game. That's an absolute emergency. The early game is far from being correct. Uh, with the draft we had, this is the only like, this is the only thing they had, so we cannot give it to them. Congrats once again. Take time. Tomorrow, 10.30, draft, and we play against Clutch, okay? Crown. Do you feel any better than last week? Yes. Fighting! So, is... I don't know how, it can, how can I say. It's just... It's good. <laughs> it's good, yeah. Bro, this guy had traps. Uh, yeah, he got trapped. Well, he didn't heal you too. Yeah, I was like, whoa. I mean, we, you know, Neo did the same thing. I charged E on you. I didn't ignite you. You're 80 HP. Then Neo, you know what he says in the comments? Like, man, we cannot kill him so bad. And you know, before I said, oh shit, my bad. He's just trying to tilt me. He's like, Austin, man, this is so bad, man. And then, you know, we died to Jarvin and he put us away, right? And then Josh is like, oh shit, my game's over. You know what Neo is doing? He's like, he, he, he. You're, and then he died at Jarvin because he had a 450 bounty, right? He's like, ha ha ha, I just fed the juggler again. You know? Like, yeah, they don't have vision. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. He's, like, he's, he's literally working for the He's sabotaging <laughs> from within. He's sabotaging our cause. Well, I think it's just two things. One, I, I like the game, so I just talk about the game all day. And as well, I, re I care about the success of the LCS team because, like, in the big picture, that's what's important because. I mean, Academy is important for improvement, but LCS matters for winning and going to playoffs and just going to the next step. I think, at least for me, it's really easy to talk to everyone on the LCS team because they're all my friends. I feel like we all get along. Yes, it's hard for me because when I have on stage day, after stage, and Saturday night, I can't sleep well because I have a lot of things in my brain. So I can't sleep well. Then finish Saturday and then Sunday is coming. It's too hard for me. So let's talk about Optic a bit because they have finally picked up their first win in a lot of games. It was a big loss streak, but after picking up that win, Medios is now out and Dardoch is in for this game. Yeah, from the beginning of the week, Zab was telling me that he had me in mind to play against Clutch specifically, so I had been practicing some blocks with the main team as well as like mentally preparing and talking with Zab about what his expectations of me were and stuff like that. One win away from being tied for playoff position, and Clutch Gaming are in those exact same shoes. Let's get onto the ramp, let's see you can pick up a win. Coming into this week, me and Dardock had been splitting time for playing LCS and Academy. I think I heard about it like, right after our game on Saturday that Josh would be playing for the Clutch game. Like, it wasn't really a surprise to me. I knew it was a possibility, and they were talking earlier in the week about maybe using Josh for the Clutch game. Sometimes people just play risk averse. I agree, these fights could be had. Oh, oh my gosh, the damage! Oh. Brown! The king of the mid lane takes one out and big! Finds a hook on a Vulcan as well. Suddenly have to pick up two kills in lanes. There's the hard engage. Local pops the ult, channels the E. Here's a chunk coming out as well. Trying to dodge from the culling and will get healed from the ult. So now they're re-engaged. And suddenly Vladimir is too tanky to be killed off. Dardot gets one, pops a stop. Watch then they can't even block the lantern. He gets away to safety. Jumps and crowd. a play catches Lyra. He has flashed as he needed though. Waits to burn it, finally does. Now crown on the top side. Into one versus two. Not found just yet. Dardot low. Hootie gets the shot. Flash but still dies. 
two for one overall. Doglin's gonna come behind them here though, Freak. I think he's he's wrapping well, around. Timing matters because they found Crown before he could flank. They got the engage anyway. So now they say, okay, we've got to rush this down, but where's the Vladimir? When does he come in? Hook is only onto a tank. It's some damn, but is it enough? Now Doklas spotted. Can they rush this down? Again, 4v5, arrow goes in, turns invisible. They try one more time. They're up in the mix of it, and it's a 5v3, so Dokla has to carry, and he gets one trade kill. They found a second with arrow as well, and Lyra has five health. Not shut down yet, but now it's suddenly two versus four, and they can certainly walk this one down the rest of the base. There's minions inside already. The turrets are gonna drop as well. Jardik will find that kill, and Lyra against the world simply cannot happen. This is checkmated. It's going to end. Optic will get the 2-0 week. They will take the win with the new lineup as well. This one's over. Optic are tied for six. We need to work very hard though. In the big picture, I think that we found a system. I think this system is working pretty fine. And now what I want you guys is just to trust this system to the end of the split, whether we make playoff or not. We are going to follow this. And if everybody's on board and everybody tries to be as less of an obstacle, and everybody's trying to push the system for, for, uh, further forward, we're going to make it. We have yeah, I think through my career, the most important lessons that were taught to me were all based around, um, you know, like keeping your composure in every situation, any team can win kind of thing. So it's like whoever shows up better on game day, more focus is always going to win. So that's the kind of philosophy I always run through my head when I'm playing, especially more so now because I'm kind of destined to go on stage with less preparation in terms of games played with my teammates than other LCS teams, given that I'm the academy jungler. I think Josh is good. If the rest of the team feels like he's a better fit for a game, then yeah, you know, it's cool. I'm still gonna go to the game, support him. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you say, one. you're like, yo, I'm gonna go around. I was just like, fuck yeah. Like, that, that if you were standing there with them on the Elder, it would have been like way worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that flank, just, you popped out for a second, you know that? On the, on the dot, yeah, yeah, yeah. you should just wait fully, I think. Or like just, you know, just it's about showing or not, you know. Yeah, they, yeah. I think they have an idea you're there, yeah, yeah. obviously, right? But it's like, I think they will I, mark I, I you, they should about... mark you. Well, this week, the Academy and LCS had a 2-0. So it's a 4-0 total. And I think that just means we had a lot of things we were doing right in both teams. And since, uh, since both teams are pretty close, both teams grew a lot in like the level of play. And if you look at the games, the first one is against Team Liquid Academy, which is a very strong academy team, and they won. And the second game was literally stomping our favor, meaning that we have high standards. And our academy is very strong. It means that the whole dynamic is much better right now than it used to be the two previous weeks. And it's thanks to all the guys because they didn't give up. And that's the most important is we worked hard this week and they didn't give up. So when things are going the right way, you need to take some time for yourself. The players and me, we have to chill for today and start the next week thinking how we actually use the win to be even better. They just had 80 pieces of Louisiana fried chicken or whatever. We ate like kings, you know. 